second that I was a content creator. And so <laughs> I just ran in here and started doing work without even really updating you guys on what I'm doing today. So I got hired for an amazing patio project that I, it just feels, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world really. Um, so I'm here today to tidy up the patio a little bit, which is essentially a giant greenhouse. This is literally my dream. Um, <laughs> so. I can't, I can't even believe it's real. So anyway, I'm out here today. I've already kind of started ripping things out from the planters that are kibbutz. Sadly, we do have to say goodbye to some things. There was a really good smelling rosemary bush that I just pulled up. It was completely dried and crunchy. There was really no saving it, but it still was a lovely aromatic experience. See, plants give us so much, even in their death, which is, they're just so giving, aren't they? Anyway, so I'm here at the space. I've already gone through a couple um, of the planters when I realized, oh crap, I forgot to tell people about what I'm doing. So um, here's what I've got going on today. So as you can see, I've already pulled some stuff here. Um, there's nothing that could survive from the leftover plants in this container here. Um, here's all my supplies. Now this, this guy over here really needed some TLC. We were experiencing some spider mites and some watering issues. So cleaned it up really good. I actually used my fantastic foliage wipes on that plant. They seem to be working really well. I really, really enjoy using them so far. So over on the other side here, there's actually a decent amount of really healthy stuff going on in here. This plant looks great. And I think that this um, this rosemary has a lot of potential to come back. And this cool black grass, that seems to be doing really well. So I'm just gonna clean this up a bit. The most fun thing about this project, I think is gonna be the before and after. So this is what we got going on now. We really do have a lot of opportunity here. Some sad looking plants, but give me a couple weeks and this place is gonna look totally different. Coming at ya, hiding on my couch. I'm hiding from the world today. <laughs> God, I've had like the worst week and a half. I know it's kind of hard to explain Although I'm sure you guys would understand. It's just been like one awful day after another. Every single day presents multiple roadblocks and needless to say, I've had multiple mental breakdowns and it's been a very like emotional, tearful, frustrating, just weird week. I just have this, so many things that I'm looking forward to doing as it's now spring. And this is usually like a fantastic time to be alive. And I imagine that this too shall pass and everything will, um, you know, get back to normal soon. But I'm feeling drained, exhausted is like a, a, a way to put it lightly. But things at the hotel have been so stressful and things in my personal life have also been really stressful. I've just got a lot going on that's not working in my favor. So I have a bunch of consulting to do, but I have no way to do it. I have a to-do list that's like a mile long and I have no energy. Uh, my house is a fucking disaster and I've not been home hardly at all because I've been just burning the candle at both ends. I've been working so much. <sighs> I'm just so glad to not be anywhere but where I'm at right now. And I have this feeling like I am in the right place at the right time. As a Libra, Aries season is the exact opposite on the astrological alignment. And it leaves me... <sighs> 
feeling like the magic in my life is completely gone. Like anything I touch just turns to flames. I mean, literally, this is how crazy things are. Like in a literal sense, I, I was home last evening trying to move plants out to my greenhouse and stuff. Cause I'm trying to like reclaim my living space now that spring is here and I'm trying to like move things back out there so the plants can really grow this season. Well, I'm like <laughs> looking out front and it's just been in like a really increasingly exhausting, frustrating day. And I look up and right out in front of my house, there's a car on fire, just like a full on car on fire. I've never seen anything like that before and the firemen are rushing over and putting out the flames and they had to take some sort of saw and like cut open the hood of the car. Um, yeah, I feel bad for that person, whoever's car that is. Um, you know, my car is uh, a giant junker and um, it's actually like 30, it's almost 40 years old, the vehicle that I have. And um, it's no longer running and it was stalled. Um, <laughs> Well, it was broken down in the parking lot of one of my consulting clients for almost a week. And I called AAA three times to come out and assist me. And each time we were met with more boundaries and more no's. So that's just a little taste of the week that I've had. Finally, we got the car home um, a couple nights ago. And that's been a huge load off of my mind. And I'm very, very grateful to have a mechanic friend who in his own time went all the way out by the airport and was able to help me out with my junker. So it's, um, I guess my mindset is just increasingly dark and I'm not really seeing much hope, but Things have got to get better, right? Like things have been worse in my life than they are right now. I've I've had it way worse than right now. I have healthy lungs. I've got legs to move me around. I've got a healthy body. I've got a roof over my head, which however unstable that situation is, at least it's a temporary roof over my head for a little while. You know, I have all the luxuries of a couch and a refrigerator stocked with food and um, people in my life that care about me. And <sighs> yeah, so this is why I have been um, pretty quiet over the last week. Well. I've been working all day, every day at the hotel from about, you know, 9.15 in the morning until about you know, 7, 8 o'clock at night. Um, so haven't had a whole lot of time to make any sort of content. So please forgive the lack of content lately, but I'm just, I'm sure all you guys can relate. Sometimes you just got to have like a full on crying session snuggled up on the couch talking to people who understand you today i was set to get a box from gabrielle plants i placed a pretty large order when i saw that they were releasing their rios that has been delivered um but it's not delivered it's nowhere to be found and the post office can't find it either um and I've reached out to Gabriella Plants and of course they're amazing and they're like we'll we'll advocate for you and I've already filed a claim and uh, it's just the icing on the cake like it is it's just so sad that these beautiful plants could possibly be lost in the mail maybe it's that they'll come to me later today or tomorrow anyway I think I really need to just get off the couch and stop focusing on all of the things that are going wrong
because I've been feeling very anxious about all the things that are going wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wait for the clock to change for one minute from now. I'm watching it right now. And I'm going to get up when it changes and I'm going to put some shoes on and I'm gonna go in my backyard and I'm going to clean up the backyard and open up my original greenhouse, sweep it out, put some stuff back in there. So, all right, just changed. Why am I not moving? <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. <sighs> okay, ready? Deep breath. Oh God, Aries season can fucking suck it.